PRS actually came out of the Congress and therefore unlike Karnataka where the Congress is organizationally strong, uh, in Telangana it's okay. over the last decade become a weaker force. There are lots of uh, freebies that are being given by the Congress as well. So uh, there's freebies galore. What becomes important in this context here yes, Sudhir is momentum. Who has the momentum? This data suggests a hung house but if you've got some momentum then some of the undecided voters can swing in your favor towards the end at this moment from what you're seeing in the campaign who do you think is carrying the momentum behind them well right now i think basing on the kind of feedback that is there to kcr's welfare uh, measures over the last nine to ten years the age group of 35 and above seem to be more uh, pro BRS, broadly speaking, it is the young voter that the BRS would really be worried about. And that has been indicated to me by some of the BRS leaders also that it is the 18 to 35 age group voter that they would be really keen on uh, going in the run up to the election primarily because unemployment is a major issue. And that is what the Congress is also trying to target through its six guarantees that they are trying to say that the first time voter, the unemployed uh, voter needs to uh, 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 trust the Congress that they would be able to deliver the goods if and when it comes to power. So the BRS concern would be the 18 to 35. And if the 18 to 35 chunk largely deserts the BRS, that could mean trouble for the BRS. The Congress campaign is mounting, but the big challenge for it would be because we all know that the Congress is a divided house as far as Telangana is concerned. There are too many leaders, too many claimants for the top job. Uh, would they be able to stay together like they did in Karnataka at least for the next six weeks or let intra-district uh, wrangles break out and that could mean trouble for the Congress party. So the Congress alone could defeat the Congress in Telangana. The BRS may not have to put in much effort, but the Congress right now is in a position where it thinks that the entire anti-BRS vote, entire anti-incumbency vote will fall into its kitty with the BJP not anymore. The kind of force that it was, let's say, in the month of February and March. You know, whenever it rains in parts of Karnataka and Bangalore... No, so why do you think the BJP's campaign didn't consolidate? Because the BJP saw Sudhir... An opportunity, usually when they see an opportunity, whether it's in a state like Arunachal or in a state like Assam, they spot an opportunity, they can make it much bigger. Tripura, why could they not do it in Telangana? Where did the BJP's campaign, which seemed to be getting some momentum, really come apart? Well, I'll tell you an interesting anec an anecdote. Uh, for a week in the month of August, there were about 119 MLAs from different states where BJP was ruling who were sent to Telangana. And they were all instructed to spend about five to six days in each of the 119 constituencies in uh, Telangana. The feedback that they gave to the high command was that there were only two questions that were asked to us in each of these constituencies. One, why was Bandi Sanjay, the uh, chief of the BJP in Telangana, removed? And and why hasn't Kavita been arrested yet? Kavita as in KCR's daughter. Because the BJP leaders were going around town claiming that it's only a matter of time before Kavita is arrested. And when that did not take place, of course the case is in the Supreme Court, but when that did not take place, the general feeling that went around was that there is a deal between the BJP and the PRS. Bandi Sanjay, a popular BC leader, under whose leadership the BJP's uh, graph actually shot northwards. They really started doing well. They did very well in the GHMC elections. And he was seen as someone who was getting under the skin of the BRS leadership. The moment they removed him without actually explaining what was uh, what went wrong, the BJP stock actually fell. And as a result of which, uh, ever since that happened, the BJP has been looking rather clueless and having lost the plot and removing a, a strong BC leader that also from North okay. Telangana. Let GVL Narsimha Rao office. respond to this because Bandi Sanjay came from the backward caste. Now you brought in uh, Kishan Reddy, who's from the affluent, uh, influential Reddy community, which is the opposite of what you're trying to do because you're trying to really build up OBC leadership in as many states as possible. You make this decision, it leads many to say uh, the BJP and the BRS are in cahoots, uh, so much so that the Prime Minister had to, in a rally, come out and speak strongly against KCR, say KCR wanted to join the NDA, etc., uh, to dispel this notion that they were uh, in cahoots. Do you think this is where it kind of went wrong? Because you need the likes of a Jagan Reddy, you need the likes of a K. Chandrasekhar Rao, you need Naveen Patnaik to help pass legislation in the Rajya Sabha. Therefore, you couldn't go in as open throttled an attack at the BRS as you would like to. 
this charge of the BJP somehow being seen in Telangana despite all your protestations as the B team of the BRS and vice versa. Uh, I think this is typically the campaign against the BJP by our political rivals, Rahul. Uh, the TRS, uh, uh, now the BRS has never supported us uh, in the passage of uh, many bills. Where, uh, uh, which was not voted on by other political parties. Mahila reservation, women reservation is something that every political party work, uh, voted for. So BRS has never, ever, in the last uh, five years that I have been a member in parliament, they never, ever voted for the BJP on any bills along with the NDA. They, they always weighed in with the opposition. So therefore, to say that we rely on their parliamentary strength is completely uh, um, co completely a fallacy. Regarding uh, the so-called uh, 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 understanding with the BRS, again, this is more of a Congress campaign. There are no takers for it. We are principal opponents to the BJ to the BRS. Prime Minister was scathing in his criticism. He revealed why, even when the BRS was willing to be a part of NDA, why he chose not to have them on board. It clearly shows our policy, our our, uh, our, 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 our uh, policy opposition to the BRS and its kind of politics. The Congress has certainly run this campaign uh, in in uh, uh, in the media and and in the social media to gain an advantage. But let me tell you, the so-called loss of momentum for the BJP is something is is more of a media making. You will see how BJP makes impressive gains in this election because even when we change chief ministers in states like Gujarat in states like Himachal Pradesh. I remember all of you say in states not Himachal, in states like Uttarakhand, all of you said, oh, you have changed chief minister. It's an acknowledgement of your failure and therefore you're going to lose this election. We have proved all those uh, predictions wrong. Therefore, our rise in Telangana sure. will be... You no, will but the big difference, of course, is that despite uh, a the change state of like leadership in Telangana, Gujarat has an organizational machinery Gujarat has a far more formidable organizational machinery for the BJP uh, than Telangana, where the party is still a work in progress. But Krishan Mane, this charge that the Prime Minister leveled, that the BRS and the KCR actually wanted to join the NDA, that they were desperate uh, to actually come on board the BJP's bandwagon, does that damage you? Because the Congress is, that's exactly what we were saying, that these two are in cahoots, that they're actually working towards uh, the same goals, which is why Congress is the only real opposition. Did that actually work against the BRS, the Prime Minister's public statement that he wanted to join the NDA? Well, I don't think so, because uh, Prime Minister initially in election speeches, he also said that he was given a supari against, uh, uh, to kill him, to eliminate him by uh, the Congress party. Such, such kind of extreme speeches are always given by Modi ji. And uh, in fact, the contradiction Rahul is, on the same stage, he also said that we funded the Karnataka Congress. So if we are good with the Bharatiya Janta Party, why would we fund the Congress Party in Karnataka? So that, that really is not working here. Uh, because even if Rahul Gandhi ji goes in West Bengal, he has called Mamta Banerjee as team B. He has called Uddhav Thakre as team B. He has called Dev, uh, Deve Gowda as team B. So th this is a regular uh, rhetoric speech of the Congress party. But the point is, see, well, Rahul, uh, the whole uh, debate today is based on, a, because I will uh, reiterate that it is based on a seawater survey, which failed in giving an accurate result in 2018, because it was the same edge which they've given to Congress, which did not work out because BRS won. But one thing, uh, see, today, the point, like uh, Pudirji also has uh, mentioned, I don't think, uh, you know, the age groups with the youth particularly would be a trouble for us because when, when it comes to the conviction of the government, we have emphasized that while government jobs were, uh, uh, you know, recruited, notified, we completed it, and at the same time, when we have taken up the responsibility of the private jobs, the government has ensured, because every time Mr. K.T. Ramarao went to any conference, went to any WEF or Davos or any summit or met any industrialist, the interest was not investment or monetary uh, development. The interest was always employment. Today, from Adilabad to Mehboob Nagar, from Khammam to Kharim okay. Nagar, we have ensured that there have been jobs uh, encouraged for the Telangana youth and that has always 
gone through a successful because someone like Kitex comes to Warangal, puts up a largest second apparel here and says, I am here because KTR has ensured this has happened. If a Tech Mahindra or CN say that, yes, this is the man who has ensured that Telangana gets investments and he is always emphasizing on youth employment, that is the certificate we want than a political certificate of the Congress. So that that is definitely okay. on the ground and that has proven. So all, in the all our guests have spoken. You know, as I said at the start of the show, a poll is just indicative. You know, it just gives you a sense of which way the tea leaves are blowing. It's not definite. And also remember, there are still uh, a few weeks to go before polling day. And therefore, let's not jump the gun and say this is the final verdict. But it tells you that this poll is exciting, that Telangana is seeing a pitched battle, a battle that can go any way, uh, any which direction. And therefore, the next few days become exceedingly, exceedingly crucial.